and welcome. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification. You may have seen my recent video about the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker certification, and are wondering if a career as an ethical hacker is something for you. And how does the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification really compare and what does it have to offer? So is that something you should look at first before going after the CEH certification? Hi, my name is Christoph Pütz and I have 22 years of IT experience. I got into IT using IT certifications, worked my way from help desk support into systems administrations and system engineering before coming as senior IT manager, managing teams globally. So let's take a look at the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification, what it has to offer. So CompTIA's Pentest Plus certification was originally released in July of 2018. It has gathered the attention of the industry and has built up quite a recognition there. The Pentest Plus certification assesses the latest penetration testing and vulnerability assessment and management skills that an IT professional needs to have if he or she wants to run a successful and responsible penetration testing campaign. This is an important step if you really want to become an ethical hacker. So without this skill set, you will not get there. And this certification really goes into that level of detail and makes sure that whoever takes this exam and passes the exam possesses these skills. Penetration testing, which really simulates a real-world attack on a network or computer systems to assess security levels and really determine if a system is secure or not, is one of the most critical countermeasures companies can take today to protect their digital assets. So who is the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification for? So this certification really targets cybersecurity professionals or those that want to become a cybersecurity professional, specifically more a penetration tester. Potential job roles if you have the certification that you can look at are penetration tester, vulnerability tester, security analyst, vulnerability assessment analyst, network security operations and application security analyst. So there are different job titles everywhere. Each company might use different titles, but those are the main job roles that you're looking at once you have the certification. So what topics and areas does the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification actually cover? So first of all, you have planning and scoping, and this is really about planning the attack and making sure that you have the right tools and the right knowledge available to execute that attack. So then we have information gathering and vulnerability identification. So that's where you conduct information gathering using appropriate techniques and you perform scans to really know what are you dealing with here when you run an attack. Then you look at the attacks and the exploits. That's where you compare and contrast social engineering attacks as an example. Then you use penetration tools like Nmap to conduct information gathering to really confirm what you have already identified through the previous scans. And then of course you have reporting and communication. So for one, you need to gather the information, you need to identify the vulnerabilities, you need to package it into easy to understand reports, you do the research about how can you mitigate these risks and uh, really get rid of those vulnerabilities. So meaning apply patching or best practices that need to be implemented. And all this comes together really to give you a good understanding of what is penetration testing about, what tools do you use, in what order are you executing what steps. So once you pass this information security certification, what skills will you really gain or what when you go through the training and the preparation, what are the skills that you are going to pick up? So the skills that you will gain are about you know how to plan and scope penetration tests. You can conduct passive reconnaissance. You are able to perform non-technical tests to gather additional information. Then the next skill that you're going to pick up is you will know how to conduct active reconnaissance. You can analyze vulnerabilities and then really plan your action. You know how to successfully penetrate network. You are able to exploit host-based vulnerabilities. You know how to test certain applications for vulnerabilities. You are an expert in completing post-exploit tasks. So you want to hide your, your footprint. You want to hide what you have done. You want to really make sure nobody can identify even that the attack has happened. I mean, that would be the perfect outcome for you as a penetration tester. And then of course you can analyze and report the penetration test results, you know how to present them back, you know what pieces of information are needed. So those are the skills that you will gain as part of studying and learning for this CompTIA Pentest Plus certification. So if you like this video so far, if you don't mind hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, I would really appreciate it. 
So how can you take the CompTIA Pentest Plus IT certification exam? So before the pandemic hit, CompTIA really required that you went to the Pearson VUE testing centers and took the exam there. Since the pandemic hit, you can also take this exam online. I am not sure how long the online version will be available or it will become a permanent thing. So that is still up to CompTIA to decide and I guess the next few months or maybe the next year or two will really show if there are any changes. So I mentioned earlier that this original exam was released in July 2018. In October 2021, CompTIA will release the second version of this exam and it will retire the first version in April 2022. So the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification is compliant with the ISO 17024 standards and it is approved by the US Department of Defense to really meet certain directives that they have for IT certifications. So the exam is made of 85 questions, there are performance based and multiple choice type of questions. You have 165 minutes to complete the exam and the cost for this exam is $370. The 165 minutes, I would not waste too much time. You know with existing CompTIA exams, it's not like that you have a lot of time available. So you need to think about how many minutes do you have or how much time do you have per question and if you are falling behind so that you can reach that passing score. The passing score, by the way, is 750 points. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of the CompTIA Pentest Plus certification. If you haven't so, please check out my other videos related to information security. There's a lot of information related to penetration testing, ethical hacking. I talk about the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker certification as well. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. I would really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.